Hello everyone and happy 4th of July. If you celebrate, happy Independence Day. If you don't celebrate, just happy 4th of the month. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, beautiful day. Welcome to your daily tarot reading from Maiden Circle Tarot. I am Morgana Braid, High Priestess of Maiden Circle Coven and Academy. And if you're interested in finding out more about Maiden Circle, check out the links below. We have blogs. It hasn't been updated for a couple of weeks, but that's going to change soon. And um, of course, these daily tarot readings. So let's get started. I am going to read your overall energy using the Sacred Rebel Oracle deck. And this is the overall energy of the day. So this could, this is just kind of the energy for everybody for this day. And then I'm going to, of course, read a bit more intimately for whoever this reading is meant to help, whoever this reading is meant for. Um, and then I will look at your physical challenge for the day, your emotional challenge for the day, how we overcome these things, and then the energy for the end of this day. So what is our overall energy for this day? You have dream a beautiful dream. Isn't that lovely? This is telling you to expand your dream. Um, not, it's great to dream about yourself and dream about what you want for your future and what you want for the future of your family and your loved ones. But also add to that a dream for the world. What do you want to contribute to a more beautiful world? What do you want to contribute to make the existence of people around you of this planet better? What can you do to help make the world the ideal place that you have in your heart? Imagine a world that you can feel is joyful and beautiful and wonderful. Imagine your life in, in light, in beauty. If you have the urge to create something today, do that. If you have the urge to draw, to paint, to make beauty in your life, to redecorate your home, to move things around, then this is a great day for you to do that. The energy is there for you to do that. And don't, don't look at it as being superficial to find beauty in your life, to find beauty in the people around you, to want to make your home beautiful. You're meant to create beauty. You're meant to create wonder in your life. And as you do this, it could create change for not just you, but for the people around you, for the world around you. So let's look at the more intimate personal energy for the person this is for. And this is also quite useful to, to see what kind of energy you should attain, you should aspire to. Okay, what kind of energy, if it's not the energy that you already have, this is the energy that you probably um, want to go after, or it's the energy that's influencing the day already, and that you're, you're feeling. So let's see what our more intimate personal energy is for whoever this reading is meant for, for today, Wednesday, July 4th, 2018. You have the Hanging Man. So the Hanging Man, along with Dream of Beautiful Dream, is kind of saying that you, you might have a problem today or in your life and you're not really sure how to fix it. And this dreaming of the, the, the possibilities, the beauty, the um, ability to make this better, you're not, you're not necessarily seeing those things. You're not necessarily seeing how you can improve this problem. But if you let yourself daydream and let yourself be inspired to create and change and make things better, then you're going to be able to untangle yourself from whatever this problem is because it's not something, it's generally not something that is um, out of your control with the hanging man. The, the hanging man is not necessarily stuck. He's just kind of hanging there because he doesn't want to let go. He doesn't want to release himself because of whatever reasons, because of fear or because with this card, like I said, you're just not able to be inspired to see a way to fix the problem. You're not really feeling 
able to see your way out of whatever hole you've dug yourself into, but there is a way out and you just have to let yourself believe it. You have to let yourself feel inspired and take a leap of faith. You have to let yourself jump for things that you may not have thought were possible before to get out of whatever problem you're dealing with. You got to think outside of the box. So let's see what your physical energy is, or your, your physical challenge for this day. This is your health, your body, it could be your work, your um, any projects you're working on. And generally what I found with this is it's less specifically about what that problem is and more about what you're doing about it or how you're responding to it. So let's see what our physical challenge is for this day. We have the Valet of Cups. So you're wanting to focus on whatever work you're doing today, but you might find you're slightly distracted. You might find that um, other things look a little bit more exciting, a little bit more in touch with your emotional side, and this could go along with why you're not wanting to necessarily see your way out of this problem. And it could be, if this has to do with like relationships, with like um, a partner or someone that you are spending your time with and, and you, you enjoy their company, but you might not be feeling it all that well, all that deeply. And it's either because you're not wanting to imagine it brighter because of whatever happened in your past or because you are not wanting to um, let go of something else, like the opportunity for another relationship or a past lover that you had or another job that you, that you enjoy but you don't want to let go of that's no longer serving you, okay? So you're really wanting to focus on this thing and it's exciting to you and you like it, but something is holding you back. There's something that's telling you either that you, you're not meant to focus on it, that there are other options, that it's not as, it's not everything you imagined it would be, so maybe it's not what you actually want. Um, and it's really important, I think, to, to just make sure you're aware of anything that is in your life right now that you like, but does it inspire you? Does it excite you? Does it help you see a beautiful future? So let's see how we can overcome this. So the Four of Wands. And the Four of Cups. Right, so this, I think, I think this definitely has something to do with your home life, with your your relationship, your partner. And again, this is telling me that you're kind of seeing, you're trying to look on at some other experience. You're holding yourself back instead of just embracing the home life that you have, embracing the stability that's already in your life and the light that's already in your life. You're dreaming about other things and it's it's fine to dream about your life, but it's possible that you're not seeing what you already have and you're not letting yourself dream about that. Again, it's the same thing. You're you're happy or content where you are, but your mind is somewhere else. Your mind wants something different and it's it's getting to a point where you're you're feeling stuck. Okay, and this is telling us in order to overcome that, you should really focus more on on what you already have. Focus on your family. Focus on your friendships. Focus on the people that are around you and that are supporting you and the people that have already been supporting you. Okay. Other options may come in and they may excite you, but 
this is a real this is a really good time for you to get grounded in your real life get grounded in what you have get grounded in what you've created get grounded um with your partner if you have a partner if you're searching for a partner get grounded in what you want from your partner really if you're dating someone and it's not feeling right try to understand why that is try to understand what you truly desire from a partner and whether or not that's that's real whether or not it's attainable or whether you're you have a fantasy that is unreachable whether you're dreaming about something that you can't reach and i'm not saying to settle for whoever you're with right now i'm saying to realize what is worth fighting for what is worth loving and living with um what will really truly fulfill you on an emotional and and heartfelt level in your life with your relationships figure out what's going to fulfill you and what you truly want and then pursue that instead of pursuing um some unattainable thing instead of dating someone just because you want to be dating someone think about what partner you want to spend your time with what kind of partner you'd like to have in your life as a stable ongoing thing okay so get get grounded in that get grounded in that understanding and in that knowledge and if you already have a partner look at what you have look at the beauty in your life look at the goodness this partner brings to you and if they don't then reevaluate what you want and whether or not they're going to be able to fulfill you in that way so let's see what your emotional mental or spiritual challenges so this is what you're thinking how you've been feeling your spiritual standing at the moment anything that's been in your way of in the way of your growth in the way of your your ability to change and make your life better anything especially with what we have for the physical challenge this could help tell us why you're feeling this way or what it is that's been holding you back and making you dream about other things but not really not really feel like you can change or fix the problem that you found yourself in what is our challenge with the knight of coins So with the knight of coins it tends to represent someone who um who wants to do everything for everybody else who wants to support everybody else and do the work that that they know will please other people okay and i think with this you're you're in a position where you don't really want to change um what you're doing because you feel like what you're doing is helping someone you feel like you feel like it's the right thing to do whether that's sticking in a relationship you're not happy in or just trying like to fit in with society's ideals of what kind of relationship you should be in or to or what your life should be depending on whatever your home life is you think this is the way that it's meant to be and you're trying to come to acceptance with that but underneath there is this feeling of of weakness of not really being strong enough to make those changes because if you do that there will be consequences the outcome could be that people don't like you the outcome could be the ruining of your home life or um the heartbreak of someone else or even your own heartbreak and a lot of this is just based on your own past your own history with relationships and with family and with with trying to find stability in your life you may have have had some um some things fall apart you may have had some trauma in your past that now is keeping you from wanting to rock the boat So let's see how we can overcome this. We have the 3 of wands. 
and the Seven of Swords. So both of these cards are telling me that it's time to leave that behind. It's time to leave the past in the past. You, you learned a lot. You've fought a lot. You spent a lot of time thinking about the pains of your past and about what you should have done and what you could have done and what you didn't do and what you lost. So with those, those thoughts just always kind of dancing around in your head telling you what you should have, could have, and would have done and what you failed to do and how your failure has led to you, to you being where you are now or how it could lead you to lose what you have now. You're holding on to those things and they're making it so that you can't move forward. They're making it so that you can't make decisions fully. They're making it so that you're afraid to dream of a brighter future because of all the stuff that you had to go through in your past. But these cards are saying that it's there is hope and that you need to look to the hope. You need to look to the light and leave behind what doesn't serve you anymore. Leave behind these, these fears. Leave behind this trauma that you've been holding on to because it is not serving you and it is never going to serve you. It, it may have protected you in the past, it may have been just what you needed at some time in the past, but now you have to pay attention to what you have. You have a stable home life. You have you have good things going for you, whether it's your home life or your relationships or just your ability to recognize the good in your life. You have to let go of these these traumas so that you're able to dream of the future, so that you're able to to take your leap of faith. Because right now, what's holding you back is not serving you. It's not aiding you. It's not doing any good for you at all. You're trying to, to come at these problems with the wrong kind of idea. You're trying to rush through and fix problems in your life and making impetuous decisions, making decisions without actually giving yourself time to try to fix the problems, okay? You might be trying, planning to, to, like I said, leave a relationship that you're in because you're not allowing yourself to see what it can become. You might be wanting to leave your job, leave where you live, um, entirely upend your life because you don't want to, you don't really see what you already have. You don't really see the beauty of what you've created and the possibilities from the seeds you've already planted and the possibilities from where you are right now. Today is a, is your beginning. You can start right now and chart your course and change your path, but you do have to be patient because this isn't going to be an immediate change. But if you try to run away and force some immediate change and force your life to go into a different way just because you're not you're not 100% sure um, that you're happy where it is right now, like you're not you're not at a point where you're you're hating your life. You're just not 100% sure this is right for you. And if you decide to just leave it behind, um, just to drop it and run away, that's not going to fix your problems. That's not going to inspire you either. It's not going to bring you the light that, that Oops. An alarm went off. It's not going to bring you the light that you need or that you you are meant to bring into your life and that you're meant to to dream of. So it's time for you to release these old traumas and it's time for you to Take some time to really have hope and think about, again, get grounded in the, the life that you truly want and what's attainable for you from where you are right now and what you had right now. So let's see what our end of day energy is. What is the energy for the end of this day? You have the devil. and the Four of Pentacles. So you might find that you are 
tempted still to run away from the life that you have to run away i'm really feeling that this might have something to do with like a romantic relationship or a home relationship whether it's like your roommate your best friend your family the people you live with it's the people that are in your life on a regular basis um that that you consider a part of your home life i'm really feeling that this has to do with with people and with your goals for your life in general okay and so by the end of this day you might still you might be tempted to want to be to be a bit more selfish you might be tempted to want to hold yourself back whether it's away from the person that you're dating or those those people that are your home life or whether it's away from yourself and your own dreams and you you'd rather Again, you're kind of feeling like you want to focus on something that that isn't necessarily attainable, and you want to. You're trying. You're being very stubborn about it. That's what I'm feeling. Is that you're being very stubborn about the way things have to go. That's that's going to hold you back. You don't you don't have to share your wealth, but you do have to give something to the world. And that something should be an inspired dream. It should be love. It should be your own, your own comfort, your own freedom, and making yourself healthy on both a mental and physical level. Making sure your relationships are healthy. That's what you you should be doing. But by the end of this day, I'm getting that you're you're still being a little bit stubborn about it. You're still saying, you know. There's no other way to do this. I, I get, I see what the other cards are saying, and I get it, but um, I don't, I still don't see another option. I still don't see another way out of this. You're not letting yourself, you're not letting yourself imagine. You're not letting yourself dream, and so you're, you might still be stuck here. Okay, so I'm gonna pull some cards to see how we can overcome this by the end of the day. What, what can we do to help overcome this? this stubbornness that we have what can we do to help overcome this temptation to still want to run away from from what's already good in our life because i'm not seeing that you're running away from something bad i'm seeing that you're looking at what's good and you're not able to feel as connected to it as you want to based on past traumas based on past fears and and so you're stuck in a place of always always wanting more always wanting to see what else is out there and it's, and that's not allowing you to become satisfied it's not allowing you to be truly content in your life so how do we overcome this you're the fool so again that's another leap of faith it's saying you gotta change things with the ten of pentacles be aware of your current abundance. Be aware of what you have already. And the Queen of Swords. Try to look at this from a logical point of view. Try to... Try to use your intellect and your understanding of your life at this moment. And, and ask yourself if... Ever in the past, when you've taken a leap of faith, has there been success? Don't focus on the past failures, but ask yourself, when have I succeeded? When have I done something completely out of my ordinary, completely unexpected, and came out on top or came out at least okay? When has that happened? And think about those moments and think about what what's possible from, from taking this leap. What is possible from letting your heart open up to someone or open up to your, your life now? What is possible if you let go of these things that didn't serve you in the past? These fears, these traumas, these negative thoughts that have eaten at you, these experiences that you've gone through that are entirely it's entirely valid that they they have had an effect on you but what what can come of letting them go 
what good can come into your life if you just say, that can no longer control me. Those fears will no longer hold me back and I am in control of my destiny. I am in control of my life. I am in control of my capabilities and I am not in control of anyone else's. I'm not in control of other people's responses. Their responses are their problem. I am going to live my life the way the way my heart tells me to. I am going to take that leap of faith and allow myself to be free. Ask yourself, what can come of that? All right, that is your reading for today, Wednesday, July 4th, 2018. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm sorry if you can hear I'm a little bit stuffed up today, but um, it's, it's still a great day. I hope you guys are, if you're celebrating, enjoying any fireworks, any lights, your friends, your family, just have a beautiful, wonderful, amazing day. And I will see you tomorrow. Remember always that I love you. Bye.